Okay, welcome back to the E-Boys podcast. How is it going, everyone? How are we doing? I'm, good, I'm good. How are you, Will? I'm great. Oh, thank you. Thank you for asking. I'm doing great, that's, that's, George. That's all right. Um, that, what do you mean, that's all right? As you said, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> that's Wait, all right. Wait, 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 Nobody's going right. to get that. Nobody's going to get that. Nobody's going to get that. Enjoy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what's everybody been up to? Uh, ooh. Nothing for me. Just inside my room, as per. I'm making big cool video. Yeah, you really like your new video, don't you, George? Yeah, I was. It'll be up by the time this podcast goes out. I was really happy with how it came out. It's election based, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's it's about the. Well, isn't it about how you, if you could, you'd vote Trump? <laughs> it's about how I rigged the election. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. It's about how oh, I, I rigged, really rigged the election and this happened. <laughs> Imagine you just take off the mask and you are Trump. I am Joe Biden. All along. <laughs> oh, man. He's been Joe um, Biden all along. Who did the thumbnail for that video? I need to know. It was so um, good. It was our, um, Rob N. Rob N. Oh, love Ooh. Rob. Big ups for Rob. Rob N. Graphics. Yeah, Very good. He's top man. Rob. Yeah, that thumbnail was great. Right wing, formerly of Bayern Munich. Talking about N. <laughs> Time for n- 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 nutty news. Yay. Yay. <laughs> that could have taken a very right. different route. <laughs> no, 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 no. George, all right. I want to say a massive congratulations <laughs> to Wilbur the French Bulldog, <laughs> who has Joe just been Biden. declared mayor of a small town called Rabbit Hash in Kentucky. Co- uh, he beat Jack the Beagle and Poppy the Golden Retriever. My driller. Ah, oh, well in. My G. I see my votes for the golden retriever there every single time. I do you know I agree. I agree. Lovely dogs, lovely dogs. You should see her face as well. She looked trustworthy. The uh, the French bulldog, useless. It didn't look anyway. Uh, also, a man in Florida this week oh, no. stole a bulldo stole a bulldozer and went on a rampage, running over Biden Harris signs. Oh, well, it didn't really oh, work. Um, oh, I really say Biden. I was like, oh, his presidency lasts long. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit a bit much. Bit far that. Mm. Yeah, running over. Imagine being run over. Oh, horrible. That is that is the last of the nutty line. Nutty well, news headlines. In, going been on this an week. incredible, incredibly nutty. It's a good, it's a good solid feature. <laughs> yeah, every mental. Time. Uh, very, very like two ends of the spectrum. Now, I really, I really appreciate that. Yeah. Nutty news. If only there was something that had happened this week that was, you know, global news, but I suppose not. <laughs> uh, so we can move on. Uh, Clearly, getting Trump out of the White House wasn't nutty enough for this segment. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, I was too mainstream in it. Nutty news is left field. It cannot be pinned down. You wouldn't get Everything this. Everything you will not be found in nutty news. Nutty news yeah. cannot be predicted. <laughs> I, love how, I love how with nutty news, there's been one less article every single week. Since <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's been getting drier and drier. I can't change the headlines. I can't go out and create them. If they're there, they're there. I think from now on, if, if there's less than three, you have to go out and make a headline. Oh, you have to get in. Yeah, you have to get in the news. TMZ or something. <laughs> oh, man. We were, well, you were watching the election, weren't you, George? Because yeah. you were comparing it to the British one and now they're just not on the same level. Yeah, no, it's so fucking boring, the American one. It's just like stats. And like in England, it's so fucking. The, the election night's so good. Do you guys watch it whenever it's on? What's the difference? Though? Yeah. yeah. It's, the a good laugh. it's a good laugh. Yeah. Where people are just like. Oh, what? Like Lord Buckethead and we've got like the meme yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. It's not even that. It's just the coverage is so much better because like no one gets embarrassed in the American one. Here we film them mean? all when they get, when <laughs> yeah. they get the results. And that's just fucking brilliant. I love it. And you lose oh, your yeah. seat and all that. Oh, yeah. You don't get that in America. And also in America, like everything's so clean and. And great, whereas, like, you could tell that in the UK one, but it's been set up in, like, 20 minutes by, like, <laughs> some bloke. In, like, a dodgy town hall, like, yeah. the first school's, like, all the centre. I also found, like, watching through the, the election coverage, still the best coverage was coming from British sources. Yeah, Like, the, the US coverage was just numbers, 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 numbers. And the UK one, you're getting, like, opinions, people dotted all over the place. You saw, like, a fucking Trump party. It was it was great. Yeah, I, also, I, think, I think we're watching the same one. Was it Sky you were watching? Yeah, yeah, it was Sky. Should we explain Lord Buckethead? Yeah, Lord Buckethead. You could go uh, try and explain it if you can, Will. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, for the non-UK based viewers, there is. I all right, James, fact check me on this. So there's usually like three or four MPs running for an area in Britain, and then sometimes a a, fi- a meme fifth one pops up just for shits and giggles, really, right? right? Yeah. So, so basically, any you have to put in a deposit when you run for an election, right? 
So you put in a deposit. I think I can't remember how much it is. I think it's about a grand, and that means you can run in as an MP for your constituency. I can't remember exactly how much. But if you don't get a certain amount of votes, the government takes them that money, that deposit. So it basically stops just about anyone from um from entering. But if you have backing, like this Lord Buckethead guy and someone who was in a constituency that I used to live in called Sir Arthur Pendragon. Um, yes, I remember that. What? Yeah. You you can you was can he not run. just a really posh man? What was the, what's the pen dragon bit? No, he was a druid. So my constituency you never Merlin? included stone. He my constituency included Stonehenge, right? And right. there's a druid circle that do all of like the winter and summer solstices. And the leader of that of those solstices is called Sir Arthur Pendragon. Right, and that's his legal name. His first name, I think, is Sir. Middle name. Arthur, <laughs> name, oh, that's name a, yeah, that's yeah, a good name after, I'd vote for it, yeah. Isn't he named after uh, King Arthur, right? Because yeah, 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 yeah. So like, I think he he literally named himself that because he believes that he's the reincarnation of him. Oh, and I'd vote I for believe him. I believe he almost or did get the amount of votes to get his deposit back because he of the circle being so big. Yeah, uh, by Stonehenge. Not the Stonehenge. Literally, yeah, literally physical. Stonehenge. Stonehenge is so massive. No, it's it's like literally the people that get involved in that shit and and love him. There's another one, isn't there? The monster raving yeah, loony party. party. Yeah, They're They're a great loads, one. There's a guy that dresses up as Elmo, uh, and there's a yeah. guy that dresses up as a fish finger. None of that in America, man. No, well, no, where no. is that? I mean, yeah, you would think they'd have like the the big supplier wrongins, but I mean, their wrongins just run for the two main parties. Yeah, yeah, and win. <laughs> That's the worst part. Their Trump candidates actually win the election. Yeah, Trump, man. Like, he's the closest thing to Elmo that they have. (laughs) If you really think about it, TV stars, man. Like, Trump is their Elmo. Could you imagine if Elmo won? Who's our pretty AOC, though? Do we have it? Uh, Theresa Theresa May. May. (laughs) Theresa May. Yes, Theresa. I'm trying to think. They've also got that other uh, crazy party, don't they? Uh, The Lib Dems. Hey, that's a funny political joke. <laughs> Bunch of wetties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, guys, a funny political joke for everybody in the UK. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I didn't have a fucking clue what was going on. I didn't re- even pay attention. I reckon you I know should how... run for Parliament. I reckon I'd be a good candidate. You'd be like Buckethead. Yeah, I'd be so you good. Would, yeah. Imagine You'd probably have a good shot in your own mask and stuff. Yeah, imagine like me next to, next to Boris Johnson and uh, I get more votes than him. The scenes. Imagine the scenes, Will. I reckon that could be a really funny video if we if yeah, we well, yeah. have to wait four for, for years to do it. It's like three years away though, isn't it? Huh? It's like three years away our next one, isn't it? Four years. We did one last year. Four years. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's enough time to cultivate our our young audience. They'll be eighteen. They'll be yeah. They'll time. be they'll be they'll be fifteen by then. Yeah. In the twenty twenty four election, vote for me. <laughs> I will I come up with some good policies. What would your policies be? If you won, right, you could just like if you got sick of doing the the politics stuff every week, you could just send someone else in on it, like with the mask on. Just give give it to Jurds. Yeah, give it Jurds. Give it. Yeah, to the end of the season. <laughs> oh, that'd be a leak. Could you imagine? What would your What would your first policy be? Out of curiosity. Hmm. Um, what serious ones or? No, any. Well, it's your policy. Your your political party, right? Uh. Well, I don't know. Um. Low tax. You're not really convincing me to vote vote for you here. Have you seen what other governments have been doing recently? Because I, I was th- I was thinking maybe this could be a good thing to segue into. The Danish government have decided that all minks in the country be killed. Yes. Just ki- what? Because of COVID, isn't it? What's wrong? What's wrong <laughs> with minks? <laughs> There's like a, it's not passed into law yet, but I read a quote. The Danish on an on an actual article, a BBC article. The Danish government have decreed that all mink be killed. Yes, they oh, have. Piss off! What's wrong with minks? They're, I'm they're... gonna look up what a mink looks like. Oh, they're so it's cute. It's like a little little weasel. It's like a little lottery they're thing, like, isn't it? Yeah. I think they're carrying diseases that can officially pass to humans. Oh, who cares though? They're so cute. Oh, there's so many better things you could get rid of, like pigeons or seagulls. The thing is, it's all the the only reason there's so many of them is because of the fur farming industry, which is illegal here in the UK, right? Yeah. Right. So we don't have any mink because we don't have. <laughs> Give the, them we to us. We'll we have, have them. Got, we we'll have them. The need for for mink, so we just don't have any. Could you imagine if you walk around and you saw minks everywhere? That'd be cool. They are like sausage. They're like otter, otters, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like otters mixed with ferrets, kind of. Free the minks, man. Free the minks. And like weasels and rats, you know, it's kind of like that kind of area. Pop those the minks. That's bullshit, man. Can we stop them killing the minks? Is there anything we can do or is it is it done out that they're already finished? Can we well, get a petition? Is, I don't think going. all of them are being killed, but the ones that are being farmed for fur have to be killed, I think, because it's just I like... reckon we should start a petition uh, for the British army to invade Denmark. 
Because, like, what the fuck are they going to do? Like, we saved the Nings. What? You reckon we could body Denmark? You reckon we could have them? I reckon we could easily body Denmark and save the Minks. Yeah. Big dick them. Big dick them. How? I think we need the British Army, man. I reckon we get 20 people together. <laughs> Leave the Minks alone. What did you say? <laughs> Just get our subscribers together and invade Denmark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the E-Boys channel saves the Minks. That's going to be our party uh, our party line. <laughs> our party fuck the Danish. <laughs> fuck the Danish. That's our first political view. It's we must save all the Mink. Oh, man. I reckon we could take over Denmark if we really wanted to. How many people? How many people's in Denmark? Yeah, let me have a look. Not enough. I'm gonna take like what, 15, 17 million? Maybe, maybe thirty million. I'm sure we uh, could do it. F- f- six. <laughs> six. Mi- oh, come on! Six people. Six million. No, no, no. Five point eight million. No, we got we got more subscribers than that combined. Yeah, if we if we form together, what? Well, we must have like 10 mil. We've probably got more individual subscribers than that, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think we combined we do. Easy. Yeah. We're solid. How many of our subscribers are from Denmark? I don't know, but they can well, they yeah. can turn. So that's more also- Yeah, but that's the thing. We they we start by turning them against the government and um, yeah. rebellion. What like an inside job? Yeah, start an inside rebellion. People we the government will be like, where is this coming from? And then when they aren't looking outside of their borders, boom. It's loads of blue haired fourteen year olds. Yes, the voice podcast. <laughs> That's where it's come from. They're charging, they've all got Dan and Phil t shirts. Planting on. dirty bombs <laughs> around the parliament and the Danish <laughs> They all they all could stand out with their multicolored hair. <laughs> that would that would be a terrifying army. We'd be they'd be shot quick, man. Yeah. Wearing merch with rainbows. Yeah, on. you wouldn't be able to hide, <laughs> really, would you? If you were, if you were, if you, if we were invading, like sniper bullet fire would take us out mm. instantly, mm. unfortunately. And we could just march from Sitsi because they'd all be there anyway at the start of it, anyway. <laughs> we could go to London Stansted. Everybody boards a twenty quid flight to Denmark. To be fair, invading Denmark would probably be more fun than Sitsi. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I can back that. I can back that. <laughs> yeah, totally would. <laughs> oh man, that's outrageous! It's also a better chance of success if we, <laughs> if we invade. Denmark. It's also a higher survival rate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Less chance of being imprisoned as well. <laughs> oh man! I have a new uh, segment for the podcast that I want to trial oh, out this week. I hope it's better than Nutty News because <laughs> it's, it's on its last well, leg. Uh, it's it's pretty basic, right? So I wanted to start it out, and I don't have a name for it because I'm usually good at coming up with with puns. But uh, today I've got <laughs> who's that tweet? Okay. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh. <laughs> so basically, I've nothing found... past 2015, please. Uh, okay, <laughs> well, don't worry. Every, everything's pretty safe. From what I can tell. Oh. Yeah. Everything's pretty safe. I've I've collected four tweets. Fuck and yeah. the way I In I've collaboration come... with the Sun newspaper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, pretty much just fu- just found some articles with some great tweets and I've searched through all of your Twitters. Um Why so, have you done that? So I've started so basically this week's this week's edition is the E Boys edition. So I've got four tweets that could be from either one of us and I've paired us all up with a celebrity or actually no I've, I've grouped us into four it doesn't make sense but I'll, I'll start with my one so this is a trial one i was just terrified so this is just to kind of like get the idea of it and then they're going to get a bit more risky as we go through it's just an m-word tweet so, no. yeah. <laughs> so to, the first tweet is i don't know about you but i'm feeling 22 was this tweeted by me oh because i was 22 whilst i was using twitter thank you very much harry styles uh, Madeline McCann or Taylor Swift? Well, it was I you. Madeline I know McCann, it was you. James, you. I, no, I remember James you. tweeting this. I it's remember James tweeting it's this. It's definitely tweet. James. It's definitely it's James. Wet wipe. It's Harry Styles. <gasps> How have you got a point? I thought you have tweeted was, that. That's that's begging it. Wasn't he like, weren't they having a thing? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's that No, like James and Taylor Laura Swift weren't. Tweeting out slow down lyrics. <laughs> no, no, I, no, I've never had a thing with Taylor Swift. I don't know what you're on about. Yeah, Stop accusing him. I just want to be on the down low. If 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 you think I have tweeted that and you want to find my tweet of that, I will give you a point. Uh, I just feel like that's a James Marriott tweet because I, uh, you love to, you're a big Swifty, aren't you? Why, big... Will? Why don't you care about getting a point in my inconsequential game show? I sorry, mate. It's not. It's not. I just let. I'm ready to hear the next one. Okay, the next one is, am I gay? Question mark. Question mark. Followed by a link to a YouTube video. Your options are got one. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sol Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> Memulus or Joey Graceffa? It's got to be me. It's Joey Graceffa. It's probably me, no, my old tweets. I don't know if you... Oh, maybe like, what, 2015, 2016 Memulus? Yeah, because like, you know when you when like still a had tweet a and it'll post to your Twitter? Yeah. No, it wasn't. Uh, no, 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 no. They, this is like just a link to a YouTube video and they tweeted with it. Am I gay? Question mark, question mark. Oh, yeah, no, that was a video. That was a video I did. George, why right, if you well, give it away? Oh, nice, George. Why, it's George. Give it away, George. It's George. You can have the point. It's George. All right, everyone got the I could be bluffing. No. Oh, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I hit. You could be. But if you were bluffing, you wouldn't say you could be bluffing. You'd go, I'm bluffing. You'd be like, am I? Well, there you go. Uh, George, in March 2017, uploaded a video, Am I Gay? Question mark, question mark, where he did a QA. and a What was the answer to that? Uh, George? No. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, okay. <laughs> Our next tweet for today is, I can't believe my grandmother making me take out the garbage. I'm rich. I know this. Fuck this. I'm going home. I don't need this shit. 50 cent. It, was this tweeted by... Will. <laughs> I know this I know. It's, one of, it's one of the me. best tweets of all time. I, I've got some great options here. Can oh, sorry, 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 did, sorry. Did everyone sorry. hear what Will just said? No, but I know who tweeted it. Okay. Was this tweeted by I'm Alex, 50 Cent, the organizer yeah. of Clash of Creators, or Metal <laughs> oh, Pump? It's 50 Cent. It is 50 Cent. Everyone gets a point there. Sorry. I think they're going to start really basic, but the more time I have, right. the more I'm going to go in depth and find better tweets. It's going to get one. worse for us. The final tweet of the day, oh. and please keep it to yourself if you do know the answer. Okay. Well, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ever wonder how many ghosts you've hit with your car? Was this tweeted by T-Pain, Will and E, Marcos Alonso, Oh, oh no. <laughs> I'm going to say Joe Weller. Oh, Joe Weller. <laughs> There's two two votes for Joe Weller. Maybe me. No, Ooh. that my not my my crack's not that shit. It's so we, well, how where's Weller then? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, is, is that three for Joe Weller? Well, I, I can't say that after what I've just said. What were the other options? <laughs> Mark Yeah, Alonso. we'll just go Joe Weller. Just go Joe Weller. <laughs> T Pain or Marcus Alonso? Uh, you're all incorrect. That was tweeted by T Pain. Oh, really? really? Yeah. Well, so, oh, uh, uh, sorry, Weller. Oh, sorry. So talking. you all got two points. Well done. Um, talking about Joe Weller, have you heard what's happened to the Wafflin podcast? No. No, what happens? It's mudded. It's it's no more. It's finished. Why? We've uh, less competition, boys. One. Well, We've down. outlived one. <laughs> That's impossible. We've outlived one. Well, That's impossible. Down. Bang, 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 bang. In other news, I can't wait for Theo Baker's pancaking podcast. <laughs> What did you say? <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I said it up in news. I can't wait for, <laughs> for Theo Baker's <laughs> for Theo Baker's pancake and punk. <laughs> oh, what? what oh, 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 oh. Right, I, that was fucking <laughs> shit. No, it wouldn't be Theo Baker's anyway. He's not an Audi's name on it. It would just be the pancake and podcast. <laughs> yeah. No. Sorry about that. Hi. Sorry, sorry. I'm absolutely <laughs> that topic as well. I've just absolutely killed that dead in the water. <laughs> Why did they quit then? Why did they quit the waffling? I, I no clue, and I don't think we're going anywhere from pancake. And I think maybe cut my losses and move on to the next. I'm not even on that one, and it's ended. That's <sighs> a shame. It's a shame because I've really enjoyed their podcast. Like no word of a lie, but it is <laughs> it is competition in the mud. Name two hosts. Name two hosts. Something must have happened. Something must have happened because I was I saw Theo about a week ago. And he went, oh, just, I'm going to start, uh, we're going to start posting the Waffling podcast onto TikTok because they do really well on there. Well, not anymore, Theo. Not anymore. Oh, Alex. Sorry. That was a bit insensitive. Yeah, no, oh, Alex, I come mean, on. <laughs> like, I've crossed the line. But I don't, this is a very... I think that's the worst thing you've ever said, Alex. This is a rare victory <laughs> for me in the, in the podcast world. Not Theo Baker, he's a lovely man. Oh, no, he is lovely. Should we start a rumour mill? Should we start, start a rumour mill, rumor mill on why it's oh. ended? Yeah, go on. Let's make something up. Let's make something up and then pretend that that's what happened and everyone can tweet about it. Uh, the L Luke wanted paid. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he wanted paid. That wasn't enough. It wasn't allowed. Uh, the E Boys sending dodgy, um, sending dodgy ratings on Apple and Spotify finished them off. <laughs> no. Yeah, that was what ended the podcast. Yeah, no, can't believe the fact that their ratings went below a five star because of us is the reason they've ended their podcast. Yeah, it does. And the fact that we should be five star, which I'm pretty sure we're nearly there. 
Um, we've, we've been nearly there for a while. I think people think it's funny to keep us on 4.9. Yeah, that's not a very mm. funny joke. Yeah, we're on 4.9 and we've been stuck there forever. So please get us to five stars on Apple if you can. We'd appreciate that. But What difference does it make, can I ask? Ego. <laughs> right. Yeah, it purely ego. Is 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 the What's Good past podcast five stars? Uh, let's check. Um, I'm about to give what's it a look. look. What's good? I've always said you don't need to vote us up; just vote everyone else down. That's it's no relative. Day. It's all relative. <laughs> it's all relative. It's all relative. It's all relative. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to see if I can find it, but it, it says there's no result. Uh, if we were 4.9 and everyone else was like 3.2, we'd look class. Exactly, which is so just vote everyone else down. They like, vote Joe Rogan down. We now need a new target. We had we had the waffling podcast mudded. Let's mud another one. Yeah. Let's go. One up, down, many to go. Yeah, fuck it, man. I want a Monopoly podcast. It's, Monopoly. It's a rule that every podcast gets culled if it goes below 4.7. Yeah, fuck it. It just gets removed everywhere. And the Waffling's five stars, but they have eight, but they have 800 less ratings than us. So you guys... Yeah, but and yeah. they're also dead. So what's what's good? What is what's good? That's still good. going. All right, That's still going. They're still let's alive. They're still... Good. Good. All right. Check what's good. Hundreds of episodes in. This is the podcast where we talk about other podcasts, everybody. <laughs> so yeah, uh, what's good? Four point eight. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey! Hey. okay. Don't vote them down. Don't vote them down. Or, no, they are. They can stay there. They've suffered enough. They've suffered enough. We love them. <laughs> um, three point three k ratings. Well in. What's Different the breed. What's the happy hour soon? Let's see what's happy hour doing. I mean, the happy, happy hour. Uh, you, honestly, you could rate this two hour podcast two stars if we had a Spotify deal. Yeah, yeah, we wouldn't care I mean, at that point. If he's got he's got one and a half stars, he's still winning. Um, I'm trying to find it. There's like eight podcasts called the Happy Hour Podcast. It's a good um, name. I was how many of you the ghost if you guess on? It's a good name. <laughs> happy happy hour. Can we change this podcast to uh, the E Boys Happy Hour Podcast? The e Bo- <laughs> the What's Good E Boys Happy Hour Podcast. <laughs> Um, I can't actually find the writing for Jackmate's Happy Hour. So mm. that will talking be... about Jackmate, Jackmate's Happy Hour. Did you, any of you watch the uh, or listen to the Morgs episode? It was a good one. No, I listened to a couple of the clips. Did you? So there was a question where he turned around to him and he was like, "Right, Morgan, eighteen years old, shitload of cash. What's the stupidest oh, thing you've ever was. bought?" I wanted to know, starting with you, Alex, because it's probably gonna be the best answer. What's the stupidest thing you've ever bought? Shit, like. <sighs> Okay, it's probably like I spent like 800 quid on a Lego set. That's not stupid. What Lego set? What Lego? Oh, for fuck's sake. I, well, I'd say because people buy clothing, that's pretty standard to spend money on. But like 800 quid on a Lego, that's steep, man. Mm. Uh, especially because somebody stole it. So that's gone. Who stole, who stole it? Who stole it? Who stole it? Uh, I who left it in Fraser and James' apartment and never saw it again. Oh, James stole it. No, I'm not saying James did. Wait, Fraser hang on, stole hang on. it. I'm not saying James did. Oh, was it the little character? Yeah, the Cloud City set. Gone. Oh. You spent 800 on a character? No, no. Oh. The character was worth 500. The you rest of the set was worth 300. I remember. And it's gone. 500? Well, obviously not treasured it enough. He let I never steal it. Yeah, I never was eating it. That's why we didn't let him oh. in the E-Boys. Because he fucking owes me that the Cloud City set. Jimbo, George... I've got this little synthesizer called the OP1, and I love it to bits, but I've yet to get good at it and find a practical usage for it in any music I've ever made. <laughs> and, uh. and it cost me over a grand. Did you we made the Hesky Time didn't song they? that? Yeah, I did. I, yeah, I that was good. I have this song of George saying, singing Hesky Time, it's Hesky Time, and that's a, that's probably the best piece of music I've made using it. Oh, well, there you go. It's it's warranted, it justified. Yeah. No, I've used, I have used it, but I, I, I think I was just expecting to learn it quicker than I did, and it Come was on. very expensive. So Sur- surely there's got to be something stupider than a cool bit of music kit. And to be honest, I was just looking around. Do you have anything you deeply regret buying? Maybe cut to George for this one, and I can have a um, think. Honestly, I, I think Morgs had the same answer as me. Cryptocurrency, like that was just a fucking. But then again, I don't know whether you consider that a purchase because it it, it was considered like an investment. Because it doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah, no, it doesn't exist. It, it was considered an investment, but I was such a fucking idiot for buying into it. Um, uh, but purchase wise, I'd say like designer clothes, just because yeah. I don't really wear them. Mm. Yeah, I, would, uh, I could do without argue... them. 
Like, I buy designer clothes and I'm too scared to wear them because they're really expensive and I don't want to fuck up in the washing machine or something. So I don't really... Also, I don't want to get mugged. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, hang on. Hang on. I'm going to turn my light on. And... So I bought this jacket, right? And I, I it was 800 <laughs> quid, right? And I, I was a bit of a Russian blood to the head. And I went on holiday after... I bought it, it came, and by the time I'd got back, I'd missed the returns window. Oh. Look how fucking ridic- ridiculous this jacket looks. I might buy this off him, depending on how fire it is. You won't, uh, given the size of it. While he's getting this, do you remember my do you remember my gold jacket? Yeah, that was an awful part. But then again, that was probably like 10 quid. You got 20 quid, wasn't it? It was like 10, 10, 15 quid. Yeah, exactly, so it's not that bad. I remember I liked that gold jacket. Right, look, at, look at the size of oh. it. Oh my god. Oh, hang on. What the fuck is it? Oh, is it? No. What is, what it? is that? Oh, no. I've oh, seen these before. What the fuck? Oh, 800 quid. It's not really, it doesn't really come across. Yeah, you see what I mean? It's like the more you pay for something, the more unwearable That's awful. Well, it looks like someone shat on you. It looks like it's just a normal denim jacket, but they've just poured bleach all over it. And just a massive pigeon. I do love a denim jacket. To be fair, I do. I do love a denim jacket. Yeah, who who made that? Uh, um, four two four, I think they're called. You look like you're wearing a cow's skin. Hang on, hey, Will, do you buy designer clothes online? Oh, sorry, sorry, hang on. What, do you buy what? designer clothes online? Yes. I always, if I ever buy something expensive, I have to do it in person just to make sure it actually looks good. Well, yeah, I learned from that on the hard way. No point unless you get the free water. Oh yeah, you've got to get the free water. That's the best bit. You know when I when I bought like a I got a watch ages ago, not like a particularly expensive one, just like quite a regular run of the mill watch. It was like a hundred to two hundred pounds, like a decent ish watch. I got um champagne with it, which I was really not expecting. Whoa, I was like, really? Probably really? Prob- I was like, this champagne probably costs more than the watch I'm buying. I think they just like what me. watch was it? Was it, really was nice. it uh, that's nice? No, nothing. It was like I think it was like a. It was nothing like huge. It was just a Hugo Boss watch. I just like oh. having watches, like just like very basic like watches, really. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I always think about going out and buying a new watch. It's one of the things that I do think about, but then I just can never, I can never justify it, and I don't trust myself. I lose so much shit. Mm-hmm. You want to get insurance on it for sure, like. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't think I could. I don't think I could buy a big cool watch. I, most of my friends have one, but I just, I, I don't trust myself. I don't even wear a watch anymore. I have a new answer though for uh, what my worst purchase is. What? concrete table oh yeah that yes concrete table because i still have it in my house on the floor i lost it i lost the screws that screw the legs into the actual table oh so now i just have the actual table on the floor of my flat and i don't have the screws for the legs uh i literally just have a table on the floor upside down always just concrete just concrete you've got a slab of concrete in the middle of your apartment what are you gonna do? Like, are you just? How are you gonna dispose of it? Uh, honestly, mate, your your guess is as good as mine. If anyone out there for the meme wants a half a concrete table, you fucking come get it. I like, literally. Surely we can destroy it for a video. I, a I, concrete you know, we'll, table, we'll, Alex. Hammer, mate. Hammer and chisel. Funnily enough, w- the last time Wilbur and I were together in person, he was like, "I will pay to buy your concrete table if we can destroy it for a video together." Oh yeah, that's a good idea. And he would have done it. And he ran away from London. And then, and then, his offer was too low money-wise because the concrete table was very expensive. How much was it? I can't remember exactly, but it was in the hundreds. Right. Well, that's nice for him. It's a good friend to have to pay out. I wouldn't do that. But I thought I could sell it for more because it was barely used. And the truth of the matter it's was, concrete. I couldn't, and I should have accepted his offer. All the furniture you bought in that old house yeah, oh, that was, was a bad purchase, really, wasn't it? That house the white, was a bad idea. The white sofa. That whole house was the worst purchase you ever made. I still have the white sofa. That house was the worst purchase you ever made, especially the fines that came with it. Oh, let's not go into that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying to think. I The issue is, do you know why I can't pick one? I have about 20 terrible purchases that are all about the same price range. So it's like hard to pick one. Uh, go on, go on, list them. Uh, I've probably got two more cameras that I need, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah and they're totally expensive. Um, I bought a lens that doesn't even f- actually fit. Uh, it's a Canon lens. I don't have a Canon camera, so that was a that was eight hundred oh. quid down the drain. Um, I haven't sold it. I'm just gonna probably buy a Canon camera one day and then put it on as an excuse. I'm trying to think. There's anything else? Loads of Lego. 
so much Lego. And I'm never rebuilding it again because I do not have the time, and nor do I care. I've already built it once, and that was enough. Building it again, that's painful. Um, also, I don't know. One of the worst purchases I think everybody can agree on, have you ever checked your outgoing renewable subscriptions? Oh, yeah. Not good. Yeah. Not good. Yeah. Lots of money. I haven't used Disney Plus in months. No, and it's fucking expensive. It's like 20 quid, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's it's the, them ones. I'm still paying for fucking Tidal. Oh, <laughs> who, who, still, who listens From to when? music on Tidal? Oh, mate, years ago, I think I think maybe there was a... Someone had an exclusive Kanye, album Kanye on there. Had... You know what? It might, it might have even been views in 2016. Oh, it was actually... How much has that been a month? Oh, fuck knows, George. I don't really even want to think about it. You're probably the only person that's still subscribed to Tidal. You're keeping them afloat, Will. I had two Deliveroo, yeah. pro, uh, Deliveroo, what is it, pros, whatever is it, the delivery thing. I had two of those going out a month, and I was like, what? why Jeez. do I have two going out? Oh, no, but tell they you, don't mate, let, They don't let James wish, have that. Uh, yeah, no, they do. They only made, let me have it once I made a new account, which, by the way, Deliveroo, if you're, that is the biggest scam of all time. The amount of times <laughs> people are like, you could still get plus, and I'd be like, I'd go home, and I'd be like, Oh, I'll just go and see if I can get it. I'm like, mate, it's not an option. Maybe it's the maybe it's not on James ordered so much delivery they hid the option from his account. <laughs> They're like, he's already he's already a thousand orders deep. He doesn't need this. Mate, that that is it makes sense on their end, but then then there is there is some kind of awful business practice to doing that to someone. That's not a glitch. That's everything else appeared as fine. It's inhumane, that's what it is. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> oh, curse those delivery fees. And I pay every time, every day, twice a day. And then, and then George, for the fucking cheek of it, also adds some huge anxiety to my life, knowing that I very much take this stuff very seriously. He went, what, you don't, you don't tip every driver like 20%? And I was like, what? I remember this. You have to tip every driver 20%. It's like, yeah, where's the fucking spit on your food? And then I'm, I'm like in my head making a huge <laughs> mountain out of a molehill. Oh my God. I have another question, by the way, because we've all answered what's the weirdest thing we bought ourselves. Yeah. What is the th- weirdest thing someone else has bought for you? Oh. Because I've got one. Um, for my birthday, when I was, I, be- I want to say I was 17, maybe 16, my dad thought it would be a good idea to buy me a pogo stick. <laughs> um. The one thing I can tell you now, the one thing I do not need in my life is a way to make myself taller. Watching a six foot four man on a pogo stick is something no one ever needs. You'd be lethal on that. Huh? You'd be lethal. We could use you as like a battering ram. You could like charge it up and then bang through the wall. I could do a hundred jumps on a pogo stick at once at one point in my life. So you actually actually used it. You actually used it. Yeah, I did. I enjoyed it, George. And that's the best bit about it. I liked it. I should just imagine six foot four James Marriott on a pogo stick and his neighbours looking at him and being like, what the f- How many do you reckon you could do now? Huh? How many do you reckon you could do now? I think, I actually think my dad still has it. I reckon I could do, I could do about 20, I reckon. I thought you were going to so. say it was the 1975 thing I got you. It's going to be heartbroken. <laughs> wow. No, I, I know. I, I actually really like that. I just need an actual record player. I thought about keeping it at one point. Yeah, no, it's sick. I just need an actual record player. I need an actual record player. I was trying to think. We've got some weird stuff, haven't we, George? We've had a goal turn up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Stilks. Our, our girl. Omnia managers. Who bought you a girl? Managers, they sent us a goal, even though, like, a goal post, and we live in a flat. I thought you were saying girl. I, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no, we'd, we'd welcome that. The worst thing I've been given is a girl. I've been given a girl. I think so. I've been given a girl. Oh, that was a crazy cabinet. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, that's, a very, that's a niche joke. That is a niche joke, everybody. Um, yeah, that I, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, not really. People don't really get me many things. I, I can't really think of anything off the top of my head that's been like a weird present I've got. I can, but I don't want to put my neck on the line and mention it on a podcast in public. Why? So let's move on. <laughs> well, Fair enough. let your imagination run wild, everybody. I'm putting a comment what you think it might have been. It's just shit presents that you don't want to be like, oh, that was a shit present. Yeah, no. But I think, like, people can hit the wrong note and it still be, like, a very nice thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you can respect it for what it is, but you go, like, I'm never going to use this, obviously. Oh, on that note, Stephen got me a butt plug once. Maybe that. Yeah, but <laughs> on that note, yeah, never going to use like, it. On that note, I've got a butt plug and note. I haven't used it. I haven't used it. <laughs> I haven't used it. No, no, never. Yeah, on that it's note, definitely not going to be draw at all times. It's in now. <laughs> I only use it when he's round. <laughs> this is constantly. Zzz. 
Jesus Christ. All right, moving on swiftly. That's a vibrator. A butt plug is... It depends. Know, you can get those ones on the right control. You which... vi... Yeah, exactly. You can get a vibrating butt plug. You know how we did the mukbang podcast? I think we do one where we all have a remote... <laughs> we all have those vibrating <laughs> like those, eggs those inside of us. We can control so... each other's vibrations. Yeah, and we can choose. <laughs> we, don't know, we don't know whose remote control we've got. There's an e-boys got... video in that. <laughs> That's not an e-boys video. There's not a video of that. <laughs> we have to try and hide the feelings we're getting. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, e-boys hide and seek. Oh, strange, man. <laughs> e-boys hide and seek. What are you, you hide and seek. You have to hide with a fucking vibrating egg inside of you. <laughs> <laughs> and not moan. <laughs> the other people do. That video would be hilarious. You can't tell me it wouldn't be. All right, okay. If you ever see E Boys Hide and Seek, and we never explicitly say that we've got vibrating eggs <laughs> inside of us, just have it in your head that we might have vibrating eggs. Yeah, if you watch this podcast, you'll know what that video is. People will just think it's just us. Why are they so weird? Why are they, <laughs> they so strange? <laughs> Why is Will standing like that in the intro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, just a. I don't know what. What could do? E boys, but yeah. Sorry. So on that note, oh, um, I've God. seen a note you've put in, James. Shag, marry, avoid Dobby, Grip Hook, <laughs> or Nagini. Oh, Grip I... Hook's a little. Uh, I'd say Dobby because he's Dobby what? Where the honourable sold. I'd shag. Oh shit, yeah. Shag All right, I'd marry. I'd marry Dobby. Mm-hmm. I uh, shark Nagini because it's a cool looking snake, whereas Grip Hook is clapped and sly. Okay. So I'm going to avoid the dog. You see, I've got a good idea with this one. Okay, I also, before we go into this, Nagini at this point is not the woman because Nagini is now a woman. No, I'd fuck the snake. What? So uh, the, Nagini, the snake, okay? Nagini was so a Nagini, woman. Yeah, yeah, apparently yeah. Nagini sure. used to be a woman. Uh, but for the sake of this debate, Nagini is just the snake. I didn't know that. Um, yeah, it, geez, it's the woman in uh, the blast film. You know, it transforms it back into the snake, doesn't it? Hang on, hang on. I'm looking this up. I, I, I've never... But filled a bag shot, in it? Harry Potter, lot knowledge. knowledge. Did I get that right? Oh, Everybody in the e-boys comment section, it... if I did. Oh, uh, yeah. That's with the jump scare bit, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, you're right. Fucking hell. Um, are you going to marry Grip Hook, George, so you can get into the vault? Oh, yeah, exactly. Marry him <laughs> so he's good with money. Yeah, yeah, he'll yeah, he'll yeah, uh, provide no. a good life for us. Shag That's Dobby, because exactly he's it. probably closest to human. And then and he'd treat you well. He'd treat you nicely, wouldn't he? He would. He would. And avoid Nagini, because scary. Yep. Avoid Nagini, because Nagini's evil. Shag Dobby, because Dobby would treat you nice. Um, and then marry, <laughs> marry Grip Hook for the money. Talking about snakes, George got his this week, finally. I didn't. Did he fuck? Of course he didn't. Well, I've got to prepare, <laughs> Will. We're sending it. We are. We're going to send it, aren't we, we are. George? And by that, I mean you are. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to exactly. look at it. You're looking forward to that episode 2021 August. <laughs> as well, soon I don't as we buy something on a whim, Will. I'm not as soon irresponsible. As we move, as soon it's as not on a whim. We've been talking about it for about nine months. Huh? I said it's not on a whim. We've been talking about it for about nine months. No, we've been talking about it for about like a month. Not I. I and, and, and I don't want to be years. bored of it in like a few weeks. So I want to make sure I actually really want it. All right. Well, originally it was the I wanted that lizard, didn't I? But yeah, you wanted a skink. Give her an app on that. A skink. A blue tongue skink. That sounds like a slur. Blue tongue skink. Because they're the closest to like dogs. Um I was trying to find a dog get around originally. Uh but we might have a pet friendly place soon. Yeah. Yeah. So that's exciting. that'll be cool. We've we we were talking about getting a dog. Honestly, having Otto is is like the best, one of the best things in my life. Like literally, like there's this. The thing is, right? I've got these treats, these little like tuna treats on my desk, and Otto started doing this thing where he climbed up the back of my chair. So now my my chair has got like claw marks all through it because he just climbs up to the top and then he sits on the top of the chair. And then if he wants hugs, he he comes down into my lap. Um, I've started training him to come up to my chair because whenever he goes up there, I give him a treat, and. It is both a blessing and a curse. When I'm streaming or something and Otto just fucking runs up and there's there's probably clips of it just like climbing up my chair and just sitting on the top with like my camera there. You can just see like <coughs> the bottom half of him. Um, that's great. But I w also I've been in meetings uh, <laughs> among other things on like video call and Otto has just like jumped up onto the top of my chair. And now even Arya at times, I've gone into her room to, to go and get something and she's been in a meeting and Otto has literally just like run up leapt onto the top of her chair while she's in a meeting and it's like 
it's now a bit of a problem, so I probably should pro- stop treating him whenever he jumps up onto my chair. But oh, that's cute. It is great. I do love it. What's the point of cat if you can't let him do that? Yeah. But he's big, though. He's, like, obnoxiously big to the point where... Can he... you grab... I haven't seen him in ages. I can get him. Is he around? Nice. I'll get him. Nice, nice. Go nice. find the cat. Find the boy. You're getting a pet, Will. You're going to get a pet. No. Nah. Really cool pet. Myth. Yeah, you... it's a myth. I'm not I'm not going to pretend at myself like some of us. No, I... All right, I'm just making sure I'm prepared. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I'm just making sure I'm prepared. Uh, I'm so desperate I'm for one, but I don't think it's realistic for yonks. I would love a dog, man, but yeah. we should get a mink. Well, we're gonna have loads of them soon. We'll give them, we'll pass them around. A hundred mink. <laughs> After the great invasion of Denmark is finished, My there will God. be a, a mink for Imagine. every man in uh, Great Britain. <laughs> Eight. There'll be ten mink for every man in Great Britain. There'll be no need Where for men, as mink will Where run the this? world. As it should be. As it, yeah, that's how it should be. So it should have always been. Give it back to nature. Oh, what a boy. He's so long, isn't he? Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, look at it. Eunice. Spotify listeners. Oh, hang on. James Marriott. Is that him down? No, no, you back. don't need to come back. Just leave the cat. Just get the cat. Imagine a lion. Think of a lion, everyone on Spotify. That's what we're looking at right now. I'm going to keep him on my lap. Think about the, the biggest episode. lion you could ever think of. And that's what we're looking at. Think about that. Imagine <clears> it, We took him to the vet for uh, just like regular checkups. Put stuff. him down. And they said... <laughs> and they were saying that he's actually really small. Oh, already. that's good. That's a good thing, I think. No, I want, no, I want, a, hefty, no, I want a go there one day and it's like a lion. Hefty cat. Hmm. Big fucking cat. Well, um, he'll have loads of mink to eat soon after the Great Invasion. You just see it popping up in a load of Danish pastries. Why has this got meat in it? <laughs> oh, that's grim. <laughs> <laughs> They're just going to repurpose it into all, all the food. I know that's what's going to happen. <laughs> uh, there's a philosophy that's been going around recently. And I was wondering if we could prove this to exist or not. And yeah, that is yeah, the idea that there cannot be two pretty best friends. Now, I don't know if I believe that. Ooh. But uh, that is currently what people are saying. That there cannot be two pretty best friends Ant and deck surely go a long way but Ant and deck they're i i think they're pretty do you know what? i wasn't when i when i came to this i didn't think Ant and deck were going to be the one that we'd use <laughs> to destroy <laughs> that theory i yeah, thought but, you you'd know, probably go for like some you love them both equally unless one's behind the wheel some like the youtube brothers. couple prince andrew and epstein fuck's sake the chuckle brothers <laughs> yeah no, nah, one of them's dead. Yeah, probably just, not anymore, yeah, actually, at this point. Um, um, oh, fucking hell. I'm trying to think. Of if, is there like... any pr- two pretty best friends? It's got to be. I have an answer. Go on. <clears throat> Come on, then. Matt Damon, Ben Affleck. I can't picture either of them. Oh, are they best friends? They are. They're childhood, childhood best friends. They ben are. Affleck-y. Ben Affleck. What's he look like? Ben Affleck, he's, got, he's pretty chiseled. Batman. Yeah. I don't know, not exact, not really. He's not Matt Damon level though. No, no but when they were younger, when they were younger, yes, and they definitely were very when they were younger. Friends, tell me they are both not shaggable. <laughs> you're getting, you're getting something going with that, like you're young. I think there are. I do you know what I used to believe that maybe t- there couldn't be, and I, the thing is, I've been thinking about it actually, and I generally think that maybe that is the case. I think it's a rare occurrence. What? Yeah, pretty best friends, and I think there's um, there's a theory behind it. Why is that? I don't know. There could be a theory behind it. <laughs> I, you were about to go <laughs> I think there's a theory. Oh, it's going to be really in depth. I don't know. Mention. Well, thank you for listening to the E Boys podcast. Um, I really, any YouTube? Uh, oh, I don't know if on YouTube there's any. I'm trying to think of models, maybe. Uh, uh, yeah. The thing is, then you've got to judge them pretty relative to each other. Mm. Yeah, who's the prettiest? It's like, the uh, thing is, it's like you turn to celebrities to see, right? Because you're like. Oh, what celebrity best friends are uh, pretty and ugly, but the thing is, like, celebrity ugly isn't actually ugly, is it? Like, even ugly celebrities are just kind of like regular people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're hot regular people. Like, like Jonah Hill being the fat guy, but like he's actually like a pretty good-looking person. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you if you put him in a room with us, he wins. <laughs> yeah. I do you know. I think that. I think maybe it's true. 
No, come on. We've got to think deeper than this. We've got to rack our brains. There's got to be someone we're going, ah, yeah, we've got, we've got to dispel this theory. It's got to be bollocks. I'm going to Google it. I'm going to Google it. Uh, Jen- Jennifer Aniston's best friends with Ellen. Yeah, well, that, well, see, Ellen is not... She's horrible. <laughs> she's ugly on the inside. Yeah, I'm trying to think. It's got to be somebody. It's got to be somebody, man. Um, quite worried that we haven't mentioned us a lot. But yeah, no, if I'm being honest, I was, <laughs> I was, I was thinking to myself. Be best friends. I, was, I was thinking to myself. <laughs> oh fuck's sake! I was thinking to myself, who's the ugly one in our group? And then I was like, the fact that I'm asking myself that question means it's probably. Oh me. no! So I'm just gonna... oh, don't, say that. don't be horrible with yourself. I just, um, I just think it's quite hard. You know, always one of them got to be ugly, and it. The more I think about it. I can't think of anyone. No, I'm actually quite dumbfounded by this revelation. I'm struggling to think of individual best friends, though. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like a full-on yeah. double act. I'm trying to think. Let's name, like, a YouTube group, the Sidemen. Who are the best friends of the Sidemen? JJ and Simon? Would you say they're both relatively good-looking guys? I know we know them, so this is a bit strange to do this. But I've gone this far now, I can't turn back. You've, you've taken with her. You've taken with her. Yeah. I have taken with her. Yeah. I'd say they are. There we go. Right. Because we, right. because so we can't say, say, the we can't we, say they're not now. You cannot. I will not allow you to beg it like this. <laughs> no, we can't. Well, on the, on no, the great I think mighty they're both pretty. Podcast. I think all of the Sidemen oh, are really pretty. pretty. No, no, I can't. Well, I can't, well, I can't now Alex, say. I can't say now that one of them's ugly because I'm going to have to name which one. Oh, so there is one. Oh, uh, no. Move this is away. what we want. This is the, this is the what highlight. About, we're like the Waffling podcast. There's three of them. <laughs> that doesn't count. There's three. So that doesn't count. Um, oh, hang on, hang on. I'm a, I'm a Google famous double act. Hold on. I just need to make sure that my cat isn't wrecking havoc in the other room. Okay, let's see famous double acts. See what we got. So you know what? Oh, this is weird. Bars and Melody? Bars and <laughs> Melody. <laughs> Bars and Melody. Twist and Pulse. What about like um, any like musical duos? Oh, what about strike partnerships? Oh, Lampard Drogba. <laughs> no, Drogba's the ugly one there, isn't he? Uh, oh. Suarez. And Suarez. Sorry, Suarez. It's definitely Suarez. <laughs> Mate, I think we've proven it. I think we've proven it. Yeah, I don't think it's. it's I don't think it's doable, mate. Um, The Rock and Kevin Hart. Oh, oh, are they best friends though? Yeah, they They're love each other. Shills. They're just shills. They're not. They're only friends for the cash. Uh, <laughs> swiftly moving on. Um, R two D two and C three PA. Oh, uh, C three PA was clapped. Oh, that's if you had to fuck one of them, who would you fuck? R two D two or C three PA? R two D two is kind of cute. C three PA, man, for sure. But you could use R two D two as like a huge source of butt plug. Ooh. Oh, right. Jesus! I, I, I thought you were going to use them like a little fuck. doll. You know what I mean? Like just chuck them about the place. This has gone out. This is we've lost it here. My two pretty best friends topic has derailed us. I definitely think R two D two there. Definitely because C three PO is so it's so tall and rigid. You know what I mean? You wouldn't really. Yeah, but you'd fuck him. You can't work that. You can right. try your best. What YouTubers do we all miss that have left the platform? Uh, a online. I was actually watching one of them earlier. A online. Do you remember A online? Yes. Yes. When he, when he was like when he was actually as toxic as he was. I think was that jokes. that was like very funny when I was younger. I don't know if I if he came back like that. I don't know if I'd find him as funny. Yeah, no. I think I watched back a few of his old videos, um, like not too long ago, and I was like, it, it, it was like humor I find funny when I was like younger. I guess. You see Toby Turner's tweet talking about old school YouTubers. Oh, I miss him, man. He was so good back in the day. Do you see his Trump his Trump tweet? No. He got in a lot of trouble for his Trump tweet. He, he said that you got to vote for Trump on Twitter, and obviously that was not the move. Well, why not, Alex? Jesus. Well, people on Twitter don't like him, I don't know if you've heard. <laughs> yeah, I might have heard a, a word or two about that. Yeah, but I, I've heard just rumors. I know people aren't really a big fan of Donald, so I, I don't know. I always think of the creatures. I really like the creatures. Anybody used to watch the creatures back in the day? That sounds like a kid's show. I don't know what, yeah, I don't know what that is. The creatures, that was Uber Hacks and Over and SSOH, uh, PKC, whatever it was. And... You're, so you're saying words to me and I'm just not computing. Uh, they were like an old school, a uh, gassy Mexican old school YouTube group. C-Nanas? 
I missed the He's Gmod oh, videos. Yeah, yeah. He's back now. See, now this is back. We spoke about that on a podcast, actually, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Uh, crab sticks. Crab sticks was a great crab. That's a uh, Chris. Yes. All of them. All of those guys, man. They're all lovely. Uh, God, there is. There is one that I was going to say. But... Oh, like Woody's Gamer Tag and that lot. Oh, Mail Monday. Yeah, Ma- Mail Monday was so sick. Can't have Mail Monday. FPS Russia. FPS Russia, yeah. Before uh, he got the guns taken away. Yeah. You know he's not Russian. Oh, do you remember Epic Meal Time? They didn't oh. really offer much. They could stay. Could stay. <laughs> oh, so you wouldn't take Epic Meal Time back? What if they... I, I, look, if they came back tomorrow, I wouldn't watch. I thought that they had a few bangers. They had a few bangers, but... They did their thing, you know, yeah. and then they did. Can we do that? Yeah, Can we just change the e-boy channel for that? Wait, who are heading that way? <laughs> we are. <laughs> the biggest wagyu steak. <laughs> Oh um, man! I'm trying to think. I, I think I've named all the people. Smosh, like old school Smosh with Anthony and Ian. Mm-hmm. I think they lived their time as well, though, because they kept going. Yeah, I guess, but still, it was, it was great. Um, Fred. Yeah, bring Fred back. Fred, bring, bring Ray William Johnson. Oh, uh, to be fair, like back in the day, I love Ray William Johnson. He has me blocked now for some fucking reason. <laughs> David Dobrik. Oh yeah, Dobrik. He's the next one, isn't it? I yeah, miss but... David Dobrik's videos. He's, he's come back. He's come back. Kind oh, of. I wonder what kind I wonder what Dobrik's move is at the moment because it's gonna have to be the biggest thing you've ever seen with your whole entire eyes. Yeah, it's gonna be. Dragon you know, just yeah. he can't really live up to it, can he? No. Yeah, it's like the thro- finale of Game of Thrones. Like, as in, it's been so long. He's got to come back with something fucking mahusive. Yeah, poor bastard. I wouldn't want to be in this situation. Luckily, I'm just got like a commentary video and pretend I never left. So, but I'm not David Dobrik. I feel like that that would be how it is for him as well. I reckon he won't come back with anything like particularly big. Because if he just did the same shit. Oh, it's him though. It's him. Yeah, but his shit was so good. Every video is massive. Mm. He's got to come back with something. Do you reckon he'll like start vlogging from the moon? Like he'll have to do something crazy. Blow up the moon? I blew up the moon. Blow up, blow up Jason Nash. I sent Dave, Jason Nash to the moon. And left him there. Forever. Dot, dot, dot. Good riddance. That would be, yeah. Do you not like Jason Nash? Nothing wrong with Jason Nash, sorry. <laughs> we need a Jason Nash. Who's James's it? dad. Oh, yeah. Right. James's dad. <laughs> oh, man. I think mean, that calls it for this episode, don't you guys think? Yeah, I'm fucking knackered and running out of crack. Yeah. Well, <laughs> check your draw. You need to stop <laughs> doing drugs, dude. Oh, fuck. You got hey. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy it, uh, please um, downvote uh, the, like all of the podcasts. All of the podcasts <laughs> must go. Yeah, get rid of them. Uh, we will take over Denmark. See you soon. 